An iceberg image this one wider and with different images. You have probably seen this, but for those who have not, most of an iceberg is under the ocean. The tip of an iceberg refers to the small amount you see compared to what's underneath. Sky. The image is a drawn or upscaled shocked Pikachu face. Pokemon is short for Pocket Monsters. Pokemon is also known as Pocket Monsters in Japan and I assume the name comes from combining both words together. Ghastly is a dead cloister. As far as I can find on the first page of Google, on the survey forums in 2006 a user said, quote, Anyone else noticed that Cloister and Ghastly look almost exactly alike and they come next to each other in the Pokedex? Do animals exist in the Pokemon world? In the Bulba Garden, a user posted a picture of a dog circled in a Japanese publication. While most creatures you see in the show are Pokemon, real life fish have also been seen. Orbok backwards is Cobra. A Pokemon Orbok does resemble a Cobra snake. But Free and Venomoth have their evolutionary lines swapped. Caterpie evolves into Metapod, then Butterfree. A post on the Poke Conspiracy website shows similarities between Venonat and Butterfree, and Caterpie, Metapod, and Venomoth. Quote, the figure is, in the first game, the editors messed up somehow and switched the sprites for Venomoth and Butterfree by accident. They later discovered the error after release and to cover up their mistake, they decided to leave the error rather than fixing it. Gengar is a Clefable's shadow. In a paint.net experiment, I selected the shape of a Clefable turned it black and white and stripped away all brightness and contrast. This might not be the best example but you can vaguely connect them. Cubone is a baby Kangaskhan. Despite Kangaskhan babies already existing, Cubone does resemble Kangaskhan. The subtle changes in its hair and the shape of Cubone's skull does make this possible. Voltorb is a Pokeball possessed by a Haunter. Voltorb is an electric type that looks like a Pokeball. I assume it is possible to be possessed by ghost Pokemon. Tip of the Iceberg. And I'm going to stop there. Tip of the Iceberg. Images Brock stretching his eyes. Pokemon anime sizes are wrong. Sizes of Pokemon compared to their trainers are inconsistent. This is probably because of sizes of characters not being to scale when animated. Why is the move Curse so strange? In the second generation, Curse was a move that Ghost used to affect the status of a Pokemon in battle. When affected, the victim will lose one quarter of its maximum HP after every turn. Bill's Secret Garden Bill is a Pokemon researcher and expert that appears in games and in the episode Mystery at the Lighthouse. Although Gordon appears in the show, there is a gap behind his house in the game that is not used. What is Mimikyu's real appearance? According to the Pokemon DB, a user says, quote, No one knows for sure, but in one episode of the Sun and Moon Pokemon anime, Mimikyu takes off its cloak. It looks like Mimikyu is sort of a black blob. A Pokemon with tails measured from head to toe or head to tail. All Pokemon have height and weight and some have tails. Whether they are measured from the top of their heads to their toes or tail is unknown. Gary's Raticate dies on the SSN. There is a theory called Gary's Raticate theory. The first paragraph goes, quote, in the original Pokemon Red Sash Blue, when you encounter your rival in Lavender Town, he asks whether or not you know what it's like to have one of your Pokemon die. At this point in the game, he no longer has his Raticate that he used in previous battles. Your rival battle before this took place on the SSN. 
Your rival's Raticate sustained serious injuries from the battle. But, because of crowding and confusion on the luxury liner, he was unable to make it to a Pokemon Center in time, and the Raticate passed away. Well, oh, it is less dense than air. A user on Blue Ditto posted a blog where they explain how mathematically Waylord could be, quote, very well less dense than hydrogen and definitely less dense than air. Under the iceberg, images are an empty open Pokeball and a Dragonite looking at you. What Pokemon were the legendary beasts originally? There is a theory about how the three legendary Pokemon from Gold and Silver came into existence over 150 years ago. The trio, comprised of Raikou, Entei and Sukun, were first introduced in Pokemon Gold and Silver. Between the games and the anime, fans learned that the trio was created when the Brass Tower in Eurytic City burned down 150 years before Generation 2 took place taking the lives of three unnamed Pokemon. Devastated, Ho-Oh revived the Pokemon into the legendaries they are today, each representing the stage of a tower's destruction. Raikou, the electric Pokemon, symbolises the lightning bolt that struck the tower. Entei, a fire type, represents the fire that burned it down. And Sukun, a water Pokemon, embodies the rain that extinguished the fire. Fans have speculated as to what kind of Pokemon the legendary beasts were prior to their resurrection. What's going on inside the PC? In games, your Pokemon is stored in your personal computer. In the show, Ash calls Professor Rock to transfer Pokemon. Machoke's skin is being ripped open by its muscles. Machoke's muscles are so large that they are ripping its skin apart. Compared to a younger one, this does not happen. It is possible to assume that this theory is correct. What's inside a Pokeball? Pokeballs appear to be made out of metal. There are many theories, but the one I believe the most is they are shrunken down. In the first episode, three Pokeballs briefly appear with Japanese text on them. When Ash picked one up, it's empty. Inside looks sort of like a mesh room, and the points are small lights. This applies to all of them, whether they are empty or have a Pokemon inside of them. N is a Zoroark. N is the character that appears in 5th generation games who puppet leads Team Plasma, the villains, who want to create separate worlds for humans and Pokemon. Fans speculate that N is actually a Zoroark Pokemon. Per under the iceberg, images are a question mark icon. Missing no and bad egg. Missing note, a bugged Pokemon. Fun fact, has a splash screen in Minecraft. Missing no, short for missing number, is a bird normal Pokemon that appears in Generation 1 games. Because of the way it behaves, it may have been a Pokemon that was deleted, but still exists. Ditto is a failed Mew clone. Along with the first movie, and the existence of the Ditto Mansion, Ditto may have been a failed clone of Mew. What is the Pokerus? An 8th generation game's Sword and Shield, for is a virus, which is where the name Pokerus comes from. An infected Pokemon will gain double effort values from battling. It is contagious for 1-4 to four days. Other glitch Pokemon. Other than the old Minecraft gravel texture, Missing Note and other glitch Pokemon have creepier appearances. One is a ghost, two are the skeletal remains of Pokemon, and one is possibly fire. Pika Blue, also Maril. On Bulbapedia, this goes to Maril. Under Trivia, before the release of Pokemon Gold and Silver, Maril was referred to as Pika Blue because it appeared blue and shared physical traits with Pikachu. Interestingly, it is referred to as Pika Blue in Tops cards. Mirage Island In Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald Game Boy Advance games, 
for is a Mirage or Phantom Island. It is on Route 130 and apparently is hard to reach. Mew under the truck. Apparently in red there is a Mew under the truck near SSM. With cold injection this can be done. Since Mew is hard to come by people used to speculate that there was one under the truck. Bad egg. In third and fourth generation games and in home, corrupt Pokemon data can cause a bad egg to appear. Their type is unknown. It exists in most games from third to seventh generation using cheat devices. Glitch City. I don't entirely understand it, so I'll quote the Bulbapedia page a bit. Glitch City can be accessed by executing a series of steps at the Kanto Safari Zone, specifically the play should enter a Safari game, then immediately leave after entering, attempt to leave the Safari Zone. When the attendant asks if the player wants to leave the game early, the player should answer no and re-enter the Safari Zone, rather than actually leave. The game should then be saved and reset. When the player now attempts to leave the Safari Zone again, the attendant will ask if a player would like to join a Safari game, to which the player should answer no and leave through the self-exit. After taking 500 steps in any location other than the Safari Zone, the Safari's PA will ring and the player will be warped to the Safari Zone gate. By leaving the gate through the self-exit, the player will enter Glitch City. Creepy Pokedex Entries There are a lot of articles about Pokedex Entries that appear creepy. This is a recent one from Game Rant. Quote, Even though this Pokemon may look fun and harmless, it's definitely a dangerous one. According to the Pokemon Sun Pokedex entry about it, forests where she enotic live are treacherous to enter at night. People confused by its strange lights can never find their way home. That's all I want to explain. Professor Oak's Battle The most relevant link at the time is Glitch Trainer. Quote, Glitch Trainers can be battled in one of two ways. The Old Man Glitch, if a player's name contains certain characters in the third or 7th slot, or the Ditto glitch using special stats ranging from 201 to 255 red and blue, or 201 to 253 yellow. Unlike other trainers, glitch trainers say nothing before or after the battle and often use glitch Pokemon. Near the bottom of the iceberg, Image is a non-animated walking girl from X and Y. The Pokemon War A fan theory exists about a war happening before Red and Blue. The Great Pokemon War, or the Kanto War, is a supposed war that took place years prior to the events in Pokemon Red and Blue. The reason as to why the war started are unknown. What is known, however, is that Lieutenant Surge, the gym leader of Vermilion City, was most likely a soldier in this war. Gold and Silver, 1997, Space World Beta. According to TCRF, the Cutting Room Floor Wiki website, these were demos of Gold and Silver playable at Space World. These betas were thought to be lost until, in 2018, a user dumped copies of these early games and distributed them over the internet. Contributors on GitHub are working to disassemble these games. Burger King Pokemon Container Recall During 1999 and 2000, plastic containers that looked like Pokeballs were recalled because of a suffocation hazard. That's it. The Hall of Origin from Bulbapedia. Hall of Origin. 
from Bulbapedia, quote, It is accessible only after the player has attained the Azura Flute via Mystery Gift and returns to the Spear Pillar after entering the Hall of Fame and obtaining the National Pokédex. Due to the Azura Flute not being officially distributed, it is impossible to legitimately access the Hall of Origin. Gold and Silver 1999 Space Forge demo also left on the cutting room floor. <laughs> but seriously, compared to 1997, this is much closer to the final game. Differences are NPCs preventing you from progressing too far into the game. The Pokemon Centret and Furret can't learn the cut, while the Snorlax are level 60. There are no credits after beating Red. There are also differences in the music you can listen to. The Ghost Girl from X and Y. In X and Y, on Nintendo 3DS, a quote, Ghost Girl exists. Quote. Once you can enter North BLVD in Luminous City, go through the buildings and talk with the desk clerk. If she talks about not knowing the purpose of the building, use the escalator and go to the second floor. Time doesn't matter, I've done it in an afternoon. By a user on GameFAQs.com Sino's old chateau and its ghosts. In Generation 4, there is an abandoned manor house near Eterna Forest. Its name comes from the region Sino. A ghost of a little girl and butler appear in different rooms and they can't be interacted with. Bottom of the iceberg. Images glitch Pokemon. Ash is in a coma and all of his journey is a dream. Dreams don't have to make sense and this could be it. An old theory is when Ash was hit by lightning in an early episode, he went into a coma. The theory goes on to explain things that aren't canon in the show. Pokemon Lost Silver. Another creepy pasta. A college student buys a used copy of the game from GameStop, and the cart is either glitched or hacked. Interestingly, in 2010, an EXE game was created around this. Pokegods. Apparently, these are fake Pokemon whose numbers are greater than 150. These exist as real Pokemon, evolutions, or new Pokemon. The Porygon Epilepsy Incident. In episode 38, Pikachu thunderbolts a cyber missile which causes red and blue strobing. 685 children suffered as a result. This causes Porygon to never appear in shows, except for Who's That Pokemon in the episode Away Day Off. Even though it was Pikachu and the missiles that caused it. The show was taken off the air for a while in Japan. When it came back, flashes in animation are choppier. I was surprised to learn this because I thought it was strange. Unown King This comes from the creepypasta Unown's King Curse. It is a Pokemon that can sleep for thousands of years and kills anything that crosses it. According to the story, a boy who gets a copy of silver with instructions to wake up the king. That's all I will go into. Buried Alive and White Hand, another creepypasta, there are a lot. Apparently, a model for a boss called Buried Alive existed in red, green and blue. And it resembles Mewtwo. After the end is a game over screen instead of just an image. Only the eyes of the monster are red, which does not make sense because the Game Boy can only show four shades of brightness. 
And that's it. This took a long time to make. I am aware some of them are cut out. You can find the unedited image. But I wanted this video to not be offensive to anyone. So I just didn't include any of those details. This took a long time. I would appreciate it if you liked, commented on this video and subscribed. If it wasn't obvious, I have taken up Pokemon and I would like to share my Pokemon adventure with the world. I'll see you there and I hope you catch them all.